this is Wilhelmina's bunny, Clover. All right, let's put you back. And we just bred her with, we're going to breed her with um, Cotton, who is Naomi's rabbit. This is Clover. Today's the day, guys. It's time to breed some rabbits. We'll see how this goes. This is the first time that we'll be breeding them in separate hutches. So I have to catch this one, put her in with the buck, wait for them to do their thing, and then take her back out again. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, also it's this buck's first time. I just realized we usually use the other buck. All around this is gonna be, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> have a treat for her when she's done being accosted. Oh, we usually use snow when it's winter time as their water because they're used to eating snow in the wild for their water and then it doesn't freeze because it's already frozen. I'm not gonna lie, rabbit orgasms are the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's see. If he doesn't if he doesn't try to mount her again, then he was successful the first time. I think he's done. Y'all, that was it. Did you miss it? I don't know. <laughs> he's not attempting to do it again. I think that's it. take her back out because um well I'll talk about that in a second when I'm not holding this lid up. Luke will you hold this lid up for me? I can grab her. I can't believe you guys aren't fighting. So that went really well. I'm actually, I'm really proud of you. And she's not trying to jump down, which is very proud. I'm very proud of you, you're a good girl. So the reason why I took the female out and put her in the buck's cage, this is really important. When you're breeding rabbits, you don't wanna put the male in the female's hutch. Um, so anyone out there who's breeding rabbits for the first time, you want to move your female in with their male. And that's because in the rabbit world, um, the, it's a matriarchy okay so there's always a head female and she's always in charge so if you put a buck in with a female that's her space and she's gonna get defensive and chances are she would rather attack him than let him mate with her so by taking her out of her space putting her into his space she realizes that that's his space and she'll let him mate with her so that's pretty important um, when you're breeding for the first time. When we first, last year when we bred them for the first time, this is the same female we used, but we had them in the same cage together um, from when we, when we got them. So they bred together because it was like co-used space. They never had their own space. And then um, when we were done breeding them, we separated out the buck. So now that's her hutch and in about 32 days if that was successful she will give us a litter these larger breeds will have about anywhere between 8 and 12 kits um, which is a baby rabbit and what I'm gonna do is I am going to put her back in her cage tomorrow we'll do the same thing again 
and we'll do that for probably three or four days in a row just to be sure that she took and and then that's it we'll just keep an eye out we will count down 32 days from today in case this was successful and keep a lookout for the next four days after that I'm gonna give her a treat for being a good girl there you go a little mini bell pepper or my clover I love her fat neck roll she's so cute Girl Clover. It is exactly 32 days later from the second time that I bred Clover. Her nest is really full. She pulls her hair out about a few hours before she starts giving birth. And here we can see four little babies and we even got a lovely little spotted one. I'm really excited to see how he turns out, but look how tiny they are. These guys were born yesterday afternoon. Ooh, these are a lot pudgier than her last ones. I know, stay warm. Stay warm. So a couple things that I didn't mention when I put them together, um, but that I realized that I should talk about is, um, so I was talking with Luke and he was with me with, for the rabbit breeding and he hadn't been there last year when I bred her. And um, so a few weeks ago I was like, oh, she's gonna be due um, April 1st or 2nd. He's like, how do you even know if she's pregnant? And I was like, oh, you don't know this, I forgot. So if you don't know this about rabbits, um, I only put her together with the buck twice and you guys saw the first one and then I did it again the second day That was it just the twice and The miraculous thing about rabbits and why they get the phrase um, breeding like rabbits for a reason is because The females have a way when they're around a buck to make themselves go into heat so just the act of them mating will release her eggs so that she can get pregnant. It's not like with goats where you have to wait for the female to go into heat and it only happens a certain time of month, just like humans. A rabbit can turn it on, which is amazing. So I only put her together with the buck twice and it was on my schedule and 32 days later, exactly, we have babies. And that's miraculous to me. So fascinating about rabbits if you didn't know that. Um, so we've got four this time. Um, it's not a big litter. She had three litters last year, three, six, and 10, but that was with a different buck. This was this buck's first time. So I am hoping that the next litter will be larger. Um, four is fine for us. We've already sold two to a friend. So at this point, um, two is fine for at the moment for us. So I'll probably put her together with the buck again, uh, in another month or so after she's weaned these guys and Let's take a look at those babies one more time. <laughs> 